we were assigned a book called Out of This Furnace, which features the life of uh, first-generation immigrants coming into the United States and the struggles to find work. And eventually, the protagonist finds work in the steel mills in and around Pittsburgh area. Uh, and as uh, teachers of that segment of American history, both of us, not to put words in your mouth, found that new approach to social history and a, and a more personal look at the immigrant experience to be rather enticing. And at that point, um, we got together over tea one day and said, well, let's go see this place. Let's go to Braddock, Pennsylvania. Let's go see the Pittsburgh Steel Mills. Through the guidance of Mark DeBeau, we contacted the National Parks Service. And National Parks, to me, is, is big forests and big mountains. And uh, the National Parks uh, actually owns the area where these uh, now defunct and inoperable steel mills are. We took a professional day, and the two of us got into a, a vehicle, and we drove from the Cleveland area to the Pittsburgh area. We toured the National Parks area where the famous Homestead strike uh, was headquartered. This was the big moment for us as teachers, I think, is realizing that you're standing next to 3,500 degrees, and in 1903, what was the technology? Oftentimes, it was a wet burlap bag that they wore. Then you begin to realize, how people died, why you had so many industrial accidents, why people felt the need to have to unionize, you know, a complete different feeling to the unionization movement. Just hand a piece of coke to your students, all of a sudden they realize, oh, this is different than coal. Why is this different? What does it do? You can show them and you show, physically show them as we're standing there next to the furnace, an image of us, there's a size difference, so we're dwarfed by this. And the tangible product of this very curious field trip was to produce what I consider to be one of our better PowerPoints. You're understanding how your environment produces this, you're understanding the social history, this, this absolutely embellishes our American Industrial Revolution and our immigrant units that we both teach. Uh, and I think the students are better for our very curious field trip that we took. Because we have gained enthusiasm and uh, an appreciation, it can't help but make that evident to our students and they become more interested and they begin to ask different questions. History is very local and to try to get the students to understand that they live in history, that every day is history and even if we go back to 1750 or if we look at the steel mill experience late 19th century, history is local and I think that's been one of the great benefits of participating in this project.